Next to me stands the Audi RS e-tron GT. The RS e-tron GT has impressive numbers. So over 640 horsepower and it accelerates in under 3.5 seconds from 0 to 100. The e-tron GT is a really fascinating Gran Turismo with an extraordinary design. The RS e-tron GT marks a new era of the two letters RS and so stands for a new dimension of RS at Audi Sport GmbH. The RS e-tron GT marks a new era of RS and so it marks our start into high performance segment in the electric way. The RS e-tron GT will be the strongest model RS we have ever offered at Audi and we are proud of, we will be ahead of our core competitors in the market. We would like to address new customers with that car for the Red Rumbus and for the Audi brand. Of course, we would like to keep our customers, but we are seeking for a new, really progressive customer group who are interested in technological topics. They adore design and they adore high tech. And they also always want to have the newest te technological feasible on the market. And they share with us what we have in our DNA they, they enjoy the cultivated way of performance which we're going to have in the future, especially with that car. So our future plan at Audi Sport with a portfolio is starting right away today. So the RS e-tron GT will be the first fully electric car. For the future, we will keep successful ICE engines. We will have fascinating fully electric concepts and we were working on so-called performance PHEV concepts. All in all, we put together customer feedback, journalist feedback, and we look into global trends, we look into market and segment trends, and in the end, we put all it together to have the perfect recipe to create our product portfolio. So my personal highlight when I sit in the Audi ES e-tron GT is when I'm sitting behind the steering wheel and when I'm pushing the pedal is the acceleration. When you accelerate in under 3.5 seconds to 100 in a Gran Turismo, it's absolutely amazing. So I'm getting goosebumps and I'm just smiling when I get out of the car. So it's perfect. Hi guys, I'm Dennis. I'm the technical project leader of the new Audi RS e-tron GT. We're here on Rhodes Island to present the performance of our new car. And we would like to start with a longitudinal performance. And therefore we have a closed airfield here that we can show today the performance and what better driver could we have than our Formula E driver, Lucas Di Grassi. Dennis, Lucas. what's up? This is amazing. I'm super excited to drive it. And it is my job, together with a small team at Audi, to organize the whole development process of this car. So we start at the very first beginning, when we have the first technical drawings, when we come together with the people from the components, we develop the single components, we put it all together in the end, we built the very first prototypes like one of the cars you see here, all the way through to the testing and then to the rollout into the different markets. The main challenge uh, of the development process of, of this car, of the e-tron GT, was always to find the right balance between the outstanding performance that we want to have, it's a real RS, it's electric but it's a real RS car, but also the all-day usage of the car. And this you have to find the balance perfect balance as said and also what's very challenging on an electric car is that you want to have high range so low consumption this means that you have to work on the uh, aerodynamics you have to work on the weight but still have in mind that you want to have this outstanding performance and the comfort of the car. The e-tron GT is characterized as a Gran Turismo so it's first of all a car as you can see it has four doors that is also a travel car. It's, it's a super sporty car, it's an RS, but it's still also a comfortable car that you can use for longer distance travels. So coming to the technical data of the car, uh, most important, the system power of the car is 440 kilowatts. We have a permanent all-wheel drive, so an electric quadro, and this allows us to have an acceleration from zero to 100 kph in below 3.5 seconds but we also have a top speed of 250 kilometers per hour kph. The e-tron GT and the Taycan are using the same platform, this is correct, but this car is completely a true Audi. Based on the platform, we developed a complete Audi, which you can see on the design. Uh, first of all, the, the Quattro blisters, you see the all-wheel drive uh, also in the, in the body shape and the complete uh, design 
exterior and interior is, is truly uh, Audi philosophy. You can see the, the lights specific for Audi, also the rim design, uh, everything inside. And of course, very important, if you drive the car, it feels like a real Audi, of course. We have developed all the application that makes an Audi an Audi. So how it drives, how it brakes, how the suspension works. This is all truly, you can feel it as an Audi. I like the Audi e-tron GT very much because for me it's, it's, it's such a performing car. It's always amazing to see how it accelerates and the performance of the car besides being an electric car. This is an RS, of course, but it has the highest power output of any of our RS models. And this is truly amazing to drive it every time. Second, which you can see is really the design. The design is completely outstanding. A new idea also of the interior design, which really brings, I think, Audi to the next level, going into electric cars and electric RS cars, especially. Okay, I would like to talk a little bit how we achieved to have a super sporty, performing car on the one hand, but also a comfortable, all day usable, Grand Turismo on the other hand. Maybe starting with the suspension. We have a fully active suspension with active dampers where we can change the setup controlled by the Charisma system. So you can have either efficiency or very sporty suspension. Coming maybe to the active aerodynamics, we have elements in the front and the rear where we can decide if we want to have more cooling or more or less drag. So more um, efficiency on the car. Also with the active spoiler, the rear spoiler, we can really decide if we need more downforce. That helps us, of course, on the performance side, but on the other hand, if you go to a more economic mode, we, we have a better range. On the performance side, we have a permanent electric quattro four-wheel drive that we use, and we have, in addition to that, a very low point of gravity of the car, which is um, realized by having the battery very low on the floor. That helps a lot. And also we have features like the optional carbon fiber roof, which really brings weight down from the top of the car and, and also lowers the point of gravity of the car. So Dennis, you work at Audi, you have a fantastic job. Tell us a bit about your job. I'm the technical project leader of this car and of course not just myself, we work in a small team. We are responsible for the whole development of the car. So we oversee all the activities starting from the very first design drawings, including components, the platform, and all the development until the finished product. We oversee, of course, when they build the first prototypes, like one of the, the ones that we drive here today. Then all the testing, all the homologation, all the certification. So let's say we oversee the whole process, including budget and everything you need. So you know this car from the ground up. What, what are the key challenges to make a car like this? I mean, the key challenge, especially for an electric car, as you know, is always to find the right compromise between maximum performance. I mean, it's an RS e-tron GT, so you want to have the, you just saw how it accelerates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the performance is need, really good. Exactly. But you also need a car that is drivable in all day usage. So you want, and especially this is a GT, so we have a four-door car that you can also use on a daily basis. So it needs to have the right comfort. And what's very important on an electric car, you know, it's the, the right balance between the performance and the range. So the power consumption, you need to have the right uh, aerodynamic system to make the car as, as yeah, low consuming as possible and on the other hand still as much performing as possible. I'm super happy. I think this is the best all-around car that Audi has ever produced, so congratulations. It's, it's really amazing. It handles well, accelerates. It's, very, very comfortable, yeah. it has a lot of space. So uh, it's very hard to find this sweet spot uh, over there. So it's, it's really well done, congrats. And as you said, it handles very well. So as you know, we have the active air suspension where we can okay. control each individual damper and the air chamber, which consists of three chambers. So we can, we can uh, switch between the different modes in, in the Charisma that we have. Also, what's specific on an electric car, you know, we have the big uh, battery, which we put very low on the floor, so you have a very low point of gravity. So it's a, it's a all the batteries on the floor. Exactly, it's, it's a, a flat, flat, floor, flat floor, exactly, and super low point of gravity, so you can really, as, as you can experience on the road, so you can really handle the car very well, you don't feel the weight of the car. And you can see all the aerodynamic details there in the exit of the front wheel arch. You can see all, that everything has been really well done, like, for center of gravity. 
specifically. We have this carbon roof. The carbon fiber roof, How, yeah. how much weight does it shed off the, the top of the car? Yeah, you could say roughly it's around 10 kilograms. It's very cool, it's very cool. We have also active aero. We have active aero, we have an active rear spoiler, we have the active front aero. Ah, so you have so active you can, on the front also? Yes, not for aerodynamics, but you can switch if you want to have cooling air into the brakes, into the system, or if you want to close it for better aerodynamics. It's all active. Also what you said here, the, the openings for the cooling of the brakes, it's not fake, it's not design. I mean, of course, we have the nice quattro blisters, so you see it's a four-wheel driven car, Yeah. but this is all fully active to cool, together with, of course, the wheels, the special aero wheels that also help for cooling and for, to bring down the C CW. So the drag of the car. Yeah, I have to say it drives really well. It's a, it's a, it's a really good uh, car in every, in every direction you look, and really well done. So congrats again. Great, yeah. Thank you for your feedback. This, car, this thing accelerates over and over again, super fast. How is it possible? For us, it was very important to have a car that is reproducible every time you accelerate. You don't want to have a different acceleration every time you as a Formula E driver, you know, you need to have the same performance all over and over. So we have two PSM synchronized engines. So two engines, front and rear? Front and rear, yeah. high performance engines. And we have a very sophisticated uh, cooling system, of course. So we know exactly where you have the uh, biggest heat and where we need to, to bring the cooling to. So yeah, we can so decide battery or engines or the pulse inverter what needs to be cooled. And also on the other side for braking, we know how much energy we need in, in the brakes or how much energy we have. And so we can control the cooling to specifically cool either the brakes or the, the high voltage system. So that gives you the outstanding performance on this that, car. That's really, really impressive. And really, it accelerates and brakes extremely well. Um, and I guess it handles really well. Here we could just do the acceleration. Let's go to the country roads. Can we go? Can check out the suspension. I mean, you know, we have a fully active air suspension. Let's see how it handles. Great, let's see. Let's go. The first time I, I put on dynamic and I went on throttle, it's just, I had just a smile on my face. I was not really, truly not expecting so much acceleration, so much grip. And then uh, at the same time, we drove here many, many kilometers around the countryside and it's fully comfortable, quiet, um, but also very agile. So it pretty much has everything. I think it's the, it's the, it's the best car I've ever driven from Audi. So I'm pretty happy, pretty positively impressed of what he has done here. A perfect Gran Turismo car is that car that combines different qualities into one product. And it's very, extremely hard to achieve that. Because this car is electric, its center of gravity is very low, but at the same time, you have a lot of space. You can add a lot of comfort. So you have the instant torque, the acceleration, you have the low center of gravity with the agility, and you have the comfort of a saloon. So it is the most complete car you can have, and uh, a one-way solution to have everything. There are a few technologies that makes the the, the e-tron GT so dynamic, and it's a combination of those. Uh, we cannot mention one without mentioning the other. So. First, the, the flat floor architecture makes the center of gravity very low, and that's why in race cars, you see the race cars very low, because you need to bring the center of gravity low to gain agility. And you can only do that because the battery is an electric vehicle, you put it on, on, the, on as close as possible to the ground. This car has uh, two motors, quattro drive, full torque vectoring, which is, makes it very agile, and on top of it, you have four wheel steering, which is very unusual, uh, normal cars, they have only two wheel steering. And with four wheel steering, you're maximizing the tire capacity on the ground at any given time. So all these technologies combined creates a completely mind-blowing uh, driving experience with agility, acceleration, and braking. So given the technologies that allow the e-tron the e GT to be agile and fast and low center of gravity, also open spaces for the car to be spacious inside, and of course, with the build quality of Audi, it makes it extremely luxurious as well. So you have space for luggage, for people, for everything. And you have the, an incredible Audi uh, unique quality of build. So one technology goes in synergy with the other. And that's what makes it this, uh, uh, a perfect Gran Turismo car. There are a few technologies that make the, the Audi e-tron GT very comfortable. First of all, there's a space inside, very spacious car. Um, the air suspension, 
So you can really feel when you change the, the, the driving mode, the car goes up and down and you can control that, how much you want it to be sportive, how you want it to be more comfortable. Uh, <clears throat> and then the dampers, of course, they are, uh, you have controlled dampers that uh, makes the car stable, but at the same time, you don't feel uh, the bump so much. It's very, very smooth over the bumps. And I was very impressed with that, how, how you could defer the agility from the bumpiness. You can still feel the road, you can still feel the car moving around and the car is very stable, but at the same time it absorbs in a very special way all the these, these road uh, small holes and uh, surface differentiation. Of course, when you sit in a car like this and you put your foot on the throttle, it, this is a motorsport car, this is a, it's super fast. It's the same type of reaction that I have in my Formula E car. As soon as you put the throttle down, you feel 100% the, the of the torque straight away and the car is just like a very aggressive machine accelerating at incredible speed. So definitely the DNA of motorsport in this car, uh, it's, it's very present and when you drive it, you feel it straight away. From the agility on, on the corners of the, up to the brake capacity and acceleration capacity. Uh, personally, I really, since I start driving electric cars, I don't want to, to go back. So I'm, I really enjoy driving electric, of course for the environment, but also because I think the, the feeling of driving it's completely different, it's much better after you get used to it. I charge it every day like my cell phone, I have no problem with that. And second, what I'm looking into a car, at least uh, now that I have a, a family, I have a young boy, uh, there's another one coming. So I want a car that can fit everybody. Uh, but at the same time, I want to have that if I want, if I buy myself and I want to have fun, I can have that sportive package as well. Uh, and now with the e-tron GT, you can have exactly that, plus uh, a better quality, better uh, driver feeling um, everywhere. So it's, uh, for me, that's the ultimate all-around car that uh, I'm really looking forward to have one day soon. So now we are here on the countryside uh, of roads trying the dynamics of this car. Yeah, it looks pretty good on acceleration. Let's see how it handles on these sharp turns. When you're going down, you have all the regeneration unit charging back the battery. So when you touch the brake, you don't have the mechanic brakes really sticking into the disc. You have a magnetic brake. Basically, the motor generator unit is working as a generator getting the, all the energy that the car has, the kinetic energy, and transforming back into electricity, back into the battery. So it's very interesting when you brake and the feel, how this is very well regulated. What is very important to point out also is that when you accelerate out of the corners, with this nearly 700 horsepower, the Quattro is really, really helpful to put the, the immense torque of the electric motors into the ground. And this is very important because the Quattro helps to regenerate. So when you brake, it takes the energy out of the four wheels back into the battery. But when you accelerate, all, the, all that torque is instantly putting down by the four wheels, managing by the torque vector and the car accelerates just insanely fast. In a conventional car, you have only the front wheel steering the car. And here you have four wheels. That, actually helps a lot the car to gain stability in the corner and be very agile and have a very very good um, change of direction which should combining with the low center of gravity creates a unique driving experience i'm not feeling the bumps but that's a good thing because i set this car to comfort mode and with that the car lifted itself a few centimeters from the ground the air suspension made it much more comfortable, but without losing the agility, without losing this feel for the tarmac. And that's truly remarkable. What Audi has accomplished with this car, to be able to be comfortable, to have the space, but at the same time, have the agility and the acceleration and the braking capacity and really feel the car. It's what makes this car the ultimate Gran Turismo. So I'm deeply impressed of what Audi has done here. This is a real Gran Turismo car. It has everything you need. Speed, stability, comfort. I had an amazing time driving it. 
and I'm sure you're gonna have it too.